Hey there, y'all. Here we are at Command Central. Biko and I had a pretty successful night of frog hunting last night. Even better uh, than the last night. Oh, but alas, we got to get ready to do it again to tonight. Well, there we've got, actually, we've got the frogs there. I took out my laptop to uh, do the documentation part last night, and the laptop was dead, and I didn't have a way to charge it. So we brought them back here. So I'm going to get those processed this morning and documented. But we got the battery for the trolling motor. Got to get that plugged in. And charging. Let's see. We're at 11.9 volts. 35% of battery. <laughs> we scooted around quite a bit. Get that charging. There we go. Alright. Next thing is I gotta get the air guns all powered back up. Well, first things first, this air cone compressor is a 4,500 pound compressor and it's water cooled. So we get the water pump going and uh, in order to hook these up, I gotta remove the suppressor off of them. frog hunt we're still we got a good amount of pressure on there we have plenty of shots left get that hooked up Turn the compressor on. All right, well, we're just about ready to go for tonight. Got a couple little errands to run, and then uh, I'll probably take another nap. <laughs> we're up all freaking night. Uh, and you wouldn't think that riding on a boat and shooting bullfrogs is, is as physical as it is, but uh, we're a little sore. <laughs> All right, catch up with you later. Oh, where, oh, where has my little frog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Almost the witching hour. Just waiting for these frogs to start popping out. Beyond the water, because he's in another area over the hill there I'm working over here see what we can do the water has gone down quite a bit so it's tough to get back into some of these back regions right now uh, which is why I'm over here since I got the boat with the motor but 
I need to collect some sample frogs from this specific area of the uh, the creek system uh, for testing. And so I gotta be out here and I need to get at least a couple of frogs out of here. And then, uh, you know, it might be a little, little bit later in the project uh, when this is even drier, we might be walking it and, uh, and picking them off. <laughs> After the first few nights, we got ourselves some ha hair nets <laughs> or some mosquito nets. Because once we turn on these lights, the mosquitoes are thick in our face and they're kind of getting in our eyes. So that's the answer to that. I got some uh, flat out supply natural mosquito repellent and that has been keeping us relatively bite free uh especially since we're in a marshy swampy area it's doing great get you some flatoutsupply.com that's how it's done a lot of the areas that we're at are pretty shallow, so I find myself stick pulling. <laughs> Bullfrog life. Bullfrog in life. <laughs> and this is the night lab. Doing the testing we need to do. Weighing out frogs. <laughs> Having a good old time. <laughs>